There are three macronutrients that provide the majority of your daily calories. They are carbs, protein, and fat. Each nutrient has a different effect on your metabolism. By dropping your carb intake from 250 grams per day to 25, your metabolism shifts from relying on glucose for energy to burning fat for fuel. In this video, I'll explain why it makes sense to lower your carb intake and show you what a 250 carb day looks like compared to a menu that provides 25 grams. Like many people my age, I followed the conventional wisdom regarding diet throughout most of my life, which meant that I ate a low-fat, high-carb diet. And when I started teaching, I taught these same principles, which were the principles that were displayed in the classic food pyramid, meaning that you wanted to focus your diet on carbohydrates, like breads, grains, fruits and vegetables, and keep your fats and oils to a minimum. And I will say that in a disciplined person, this low-fat, high-carb model can work. However, because carbohydrates encompass such a wide range of foods, this style of eating left a lot on the table in respects to uh, picking appropriate food choices. For instance, a high-carb diet that provides 250 grams of carbs per day could start with toast and orange juice for breakfast, followed by a sandwich and potato chips for lunch, and pasta for dinner. Now, a disciplined person who practiced portion control may feel fine on this diet, and depending on their metabolism, find that they are able to maintain or even lose weight. The challenge is that these foods break down and get absorbed and used very quickly by your body. So the demand to fuel your metabolism is constant throughout the day. When your body burns through the carbs from the last meal, your blood sugar drops, making you crave more carbs. And because breakfast, lunch, and dinner are separated by four to six hours, that means you must either use willpower to stave off cravings or have a high carb snack to bring your blood sugar back up. Using the sample menu that I mentioned earlier, that means you could have a cookie and sugary coffee drink in the afternoon and ice cream as a bedtime snack and you would still stay around 250 grams of carbs per day. So eating a high carb diet is much like driving a big truck that is not fuel efficient. The vehicle has a lot of power and energy but needs to stop into the gas station often to refuel. When you cut carbs, your metabolism runs more like a fuel-efficient hybrid vehicle because when fuel is not coming in from your diet, your metabolism can shift to running on its alternative fuel, which is fat. So you experience sustained energy all day long with less need to refuel or eat. So what does a daily menu of 25 carbs look like? Well, here is a sample day from my 21-day keto challenge. Your day can start with eggs and a breakfast meat. You can follow that with a high fat salad filled with antipasto style ingredients like meat, cheese, and peppers for lunch and have fish along with bacon wrapped asparagus for dinner. If you feel a need to have a snack in the afternoon, a handful of raw almonds will break down slowly, providing you with sustained energy. This low carb menu is high in fat and because dietary fat has little effect on your blood sugar, you're not subjected to the blood sugar peaks and crashes that can result from a poorly formulated high carb diet. So you experience hunger much differently. Once your metabolism has adapted to running on fat rather than carbs, hunger comes and goes in gentle cycles. So you don't feel that desperate need to eat right away. Now I will mention that this shift from a carb burning metabolism to a fat burning metabolism will not happen overnight. If you want your body to complete this shift, you'll have the most success if you consistently follow a low carb diet for a few weeks. If you'd like a guide to follow, you can preview my 21 day keto challenge by following the links that I will provide. Each day you'll receive a daily menu that provides no more than 25 grams of carbs delivered directly to your email inbox. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you back here next week. Thanks.